What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, the Bitcoin price had that breakout that I've been talking about and it ended up breaking to the upside and we retested 10,800, broke through it and are now up at $11,000 basically remaining stable. And are we going to be retesting some other resistance say or 11,100, say 11,200? That could be just something right around the corner. I am definitely looking short-term bullish as of right now since we left that CME gap behind. And guys, I wanted to talk about how the election will actually affect Bitcoin price. Are we going to see a drop off or are we going to see a big price rise come the election in November? There's a lot to talk about. And guys, if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe and like. And I'm going to dive right into the price action. All right, guys, so check it out. The Bitcoin price kept putting in higher lows and we kept moving up. I was talking about higher lows being in something to look for and we kept putting them in. So we kept moving the price up. And since the 8th, we had the breakout in the 8th, breaking all the way up to 10,800 and change. We even broke above 900 for a while, but then went sideways for a minute there. It almost looks like a little bit of a bull flag and then a pump right out of it again. And now hopefully going to be retesting 11,200. That would be a very good sign for the short term. We're definitely looking very bullish right now. And uh, hopefully we can retest this $11,200 level. But uh, what is actually going to need to happen there? We're going to have to continuously see a widening of the Bollinger Bands, continuously showing a breakout is imminent. Say like we get another sideways motion and then another pump out of it, we will we will retest 11,200. The AMA 20 is way above the AMA 55, and we're hugging towards the top Bollinger Band right now. So And there's a little bit of volume in the market. So guys, there's a lot of good signs right now. The technicals reading strong buy as well. So lots of... Lots of good things right now. It looks like we could actually retest that $11,200 level. So one thing that we uh, would be a bad sign is if we got like a flash crash. That's definitely something that's happened once we've gotten up here before. And remember, a drop down to you know the legacy line is only 8.7%, guys. So just let's be realistic here. Just because we're getting a little bit of a pump, it doesn't mean we're totally out of the woods yet. There's still a lot of fear in the market. There's a lot of stress. The elections coming right around the corner and depending on who wins that could affect the Bitcoin price or depending on just how the election goes if it's a clear one-sided winner you know there might not be a lot of price action change or if there's uh, you know a very close you know who's gonna win kind of situation there could be a big Bitcoin price spike you know there could be many factors which pay into a price action and I think that uh, the election is gonna definitely hold some hold some cards up its sleeve for sure. And then when the election happens, we're gonna see some price movement. That's what I think is gonna happen. I think that, uh, you know, I think there's gonna be a clear winner this time. I'm not sure who exactly will win, to be honest with you guys. But uh, if, if there's not a clear winner, we could see some more just sideways and boring movement. But if, if there's a clear winner, I think that we'll see some good Bitcoin price movement and as well as gold, we'll see gold move as well. And guys, I wanted to talk about OXT. We kind of left that buy zone that I was talking about. We almost hit it. And just like I was saying, guys, there's no guarantee that it'll go down and hit those levels. But that's what I was waiting for. It didn't happen. So it's now moving sideways to the right. We had a pump up to like 20.28. And this, again, from down at 0.22, that's a pretty good buy. You know, so even if you got in right there and just kind of rolled the dice, you would have ended up profitable for now and could have gotten out with a small trade. But, uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to be waiting for slightly lower time so that I can get in the market a little bit lower with OXT. There's still some time with that one. That one is still brand new, very much so in its infancy stage and a lot of room to the upside. But I'm being picky about my entry levels just so I can get in, in case there is some short term chop. As we've seen in the past several months, it has just been moving steadily straight like to the sideways and down. But there's that line right there. And you can see we kind of started to move out to the right a little bit, showing some signs of stability. So that's a good sign. But I'll be looking to get in on OXT if it drops down to 0.22 or lower. Right around here, guys. That's my plan. And I wanted to go over Link, which is having a little bit of a pump. We were down at around $8 and then pumped all the way up to around $10.40. This is a good sign, guys. We basically hit those, those low points I was talking about being a good buy zone for Chainlink. And then getting a little bit of a pump out. So if you actually took that buy right now, you're in a good spot. Let me know in the comments if you caught that buy and, and saw that in the video. Um, there's definitely a lot of room with Chainlink to the upside. I can't stress enough that it's also very much on its infancy. And if you were watching Chainlink in the last year, you saw it go from $2 all the way up to $20. And guys, that's a 10x easily. You know, So 
it's amazing how these coins can really pump up and just be impressive as, as uh, you know, something very new it can be. And you got to think, guys, as it comes to adoption, think of something like the credit card. When it first came out, everyone was very scared to use it. And then now it's something that's more readily available and everyone's using it. And you don't see people carrying cash and especially don't see people carrying coins anymore. So, for instance, when cryptocurrency becomes more popular, it's just all going to be on the phone. It'll be really easy and readily available to use. And I think that, you know, you're going to see a lot of people using their phone moreover than cash for sure in the future. And that is the future. I, I can't stress enough as the younger crowd starts to get older and starts to get jobs out of out of college and is starting to experience the real world. You're going to start to see these kind of trends become more more apparent. OK, guys. And I wanted to talk about the election and how it could possibly affect the Bitcoin price. So some people think there could be fireworks. Some people think it could be just very boring. Let's talk about it. As the 2020 U.S. presidential election draws near, two crypto traders on Twitter shared their predictions for how Bitcoin price could react to the event. If we have a clear winner and an easy transition of power, I do not see much of an impact on the price per coin, trader Big Cheds told Cointelegraph. On the other hand, if we have a close and or contested election, we should see a bounce in risk off assets like gold and Bitcoin. That's what I was just saying before, guys. So if we have a, a close election and it's kind of like undecided who's going to win and it's, it's really tight, I think we're going to see some bouncing going on. Whereas if I think if it's a clear cut winner, not much is going to happen and there's just going to be some kind of steady price. I mean, hopefully it'll just be kind of steady to the upside just because of the way the market has broke recently. Uh, or not broke, but the way it's just moving to the right, kind of. And there's a lot There's a lot of fear, let's be real, guys. So you got to think, with 2020, we had the pandemic, scares, lots of business shutdown, and lots of economic troubles. So there could, you know, there really could be some, some downside if things don't just play out smoothly for the election. And as well with the election, the president also decided to delay further stimulus. So... That won't be coming until the election's over. So there's a lot of people that were counting on that stimulus. Are they going to be holding on to their money now instead of putting their money into Bitcoin? Like, for instance, the last stimulus they got, people got money. They put money into Bitcoin, or at least that's what I did. And I, you know, I, I can't stress enough that you want to have as much money in Bitcoin as possible. There's just so much potential to the upside, even at a $10,000 Bitcoin price. And you guys all know where it could end up over the next few years. We could end up seeing a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar, almost three hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. And in my eyes, it's worth the risk. You know, it's worth the risk to see what happens. And furthermore, after the election, let's see what they think is going to happen there. So after the election, as we will get more of an idea when the economy will open up, I believe we will see a change in Bitcoin price. And I'm hoping it's bullish, but we must pay attention to the current price action as well. Wendio explains subsequently, pointing out Bitcoin struggle to decisively break and hold above a weekly chart resistance levels. So in the short term, Bitcoin's price recently broke back above 11,000, shining a ray of optimism. So guys, that's exactly what I was talking about. Like since we broke 10,800 and remained stable above it, that's a very bullish sign in the short term. And it does not look like now we're going to get that break to the downside unless there's something like a flash crash, which happens, guys. So just... I can't stress enough, I'm still ready for buys under 10,000, just in case. But you know, it, there is talks that you know it could never happen again. I, I definitely don't think we'll ever see six or $7,000 Bitcoin again. I don't think that's possible, just the way that the Bitcoin's gonna be working now. And uh, there's definitely some traders out there and some you know friends of mine who don't think it'll go below 10 again. But uh, the last two times I thought it wouldn't go below 10, it ended up going below 10 again. So third time's a charm, guys. If it does go below 10, I'll definitely be ready with buy orders in. And when it was down at 10,200, that was probably some optimal times to get buy orders in as well, guys. So let me know if you bought in above 10,000 and were essentially believing in the Bitcoin price is going to be rising and, you know, you bought in above 10. Let me know if you actually bought in above 10 because that's a, a big milestone to buy in above. And uh, I know a lot of people were waiting to get in below 10. So let me know if you bought in already. And guys, that's about all I have time for today. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I have some construction going on at the house. So I've got to be uh, mindful of what's going on outside. Make sure my dog's don't escape, basically. <laughs> 
But uh, other than that, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm getting subscribers every single day. And, you know, there's good reason for it, guys. For one, I'm doing a giveaway for my Ledger Nano S. One of my first 500 subscribers are in it to win the Ledger. And all you have to do is subscribe to be part of that. And, guys, I'm making good money, money on my channel. And I'm giving the calls to you guys. So I hope that you are following right along with me and making good money as well. That's the reason I'm doing all this. I hope you guys are getting satisfactory from the page and really enjoying it. And at the end of the day, I hope your gains and goals are being fulfilled. And I hope you're just enjoying the page. So I'll continue to be putting out videos for you guys basically every single day. And uh, thank you for tuning in and showing your support. Be sure to subscribe and like. I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later.